Hi, this is Chippy from Carry Pads. In this video, I want to show you a couple of uh, devices, both 10 inch, both 1024 by 600. The one on the right is a Gigabyte Touch Note. It's about a year and a half, nearly two years old netbook platform. Uh, this is on the left a Tegra 2 based AC100 from Toshiba running Android. And the idea of this test is that we're just going to take uh, some browsing tests and try to work out whether the NVIDIA Tegra 2 platform is really uh, up to the sort of speeds that you'll see on netbooks which for me is the kind of entry level of performance for uh, serious sort of web work. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Dolphin HD browser on the Android. I'm going to use the uh, latest version of Firefox on the netbook on the right. Um, note that the Toshiba AC100 is running Android 2.1 so it's not the newest version of Android. You can probably expect somewhere between 20 and 30% performance improvement going from 2.1 to 2.2 because 2.2 is optimized for the uh, Cortex-A9 or let's say the ARMv7 architecture. Uh, but saying that, uh, this is a single core Atom device and there are now dual core Atom devices which again will push the performance up by about 20%. So these are pretty evenly matched in terms of devices and uh, probably representative of the of the sort of best of breed that you could buy today. Anyway, let's get into uh, browsing. Dolphin browser on this one and uh, the Firefox browser on this one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through some Google News items because that's a fairly random way to do it. Uh, I've already used a couple of the articles on the top for testing before I've done this video. So what we're going to do is, oh, let's try go back on that one, and we will kick off articles that I haven't read before on either of these devices. Three, two, one, go. So you can see the netbook uh, bringing, <laughs> well they're not the same articles are they? <laughs> let's start that again. <laughs> back to Google News. Um, there's an Aston Villa result here and the same article is down here on this version okay I started these uh, browsers at different times so the articles in different places so same article this time three two one go so netbook ahead and I'm just gonna point out when one finishes that one's finished and that one's finished so there was about a second half a second between the two there although the netbook uh, the netbook uh, started to show the content a bit earlier. I should also point out I've switched off Flash. It's not fair to be running Flash on this when Flash doesn't run on the AC100. Uh, so what you're seeing here is uh, animated GIFs here. No, no Flash content there. Let's go back and do another one. So let's close that. Close that one. Let's see. Um, taking this article, Prescott Keen on Khan, if I can find that. No, I can't. Let's go to uh, biggest banks face pressure to break up. It's uh, three, two, one, go. Well, once again, the netbook starting to show the content before the smart book, and that's finished. And that's finished. There was literally again one second in that. Uh, all the content looks pretty much the same. There is slightly different advertising on the top there, but as there's no flash content running, um, that shouldn't should be affecting any any speed speed of the uh, the loading. Let's try another one, and we'll go to the next article down. Nuclear talks with Iran collapse. Here we go, and let's just line that up. Three, two, one, go. Netbook is really much quicker to start picking up the content. Well, that was very quick. They're both loaded uh, within a couple of seconds. Um, that's a f nice basic uh, web page. Uh, we'll go down to this article in The Guardian. Three, two, one, go. Both browsers are set to, to offer a an agent ID of desktop. So, very much the same. Um, I didn't even spot the difference between those two on that one. So, try another one. So, 
even after just those four tests, it's pretty clear that the, the Tegra 2 platform here isn't doing too badly, right? I mean, these are both going over the same hotspot and the differences are minimal. Let's try this one. So, again, netbook uh, showing the content before the smart book. Finished, finished, almost at the same time. So, um, <laughs> really, and this is what I've been seeing over um, a period of weeks now that I've been doing tests, well, actually longer months that I've had the, the AC100. With, um, you know, some of the best browsers on the platform, and I'm using Dolphin Browser HD, which I do regard as one of the best, the, um, the speed of browsing is absolutely up there with with um, with netbooks I'm just going to do one more here this is a Reuters article three two one go netbook starts in the lead again and I'm just watching the counters netbook finished and we're still going here on the left hand set's finished and really it's it is only about twenty percent difference uh, in performance there so you know it's not too bad Tegra this is the Tegra 2 platform at 1 gigahertz it really is just one generation away from being um, a CPU powerful as a netbook it's 1.6 gigahertz atom there of course browsing is purely at this stage of the game purely a CPU acti activity there's no HTML5 canvas no 3D ex acceleration uh, going on on that part of it so um, we could pretty Draw, pretty um, fairly draw some conclusions here and say that the Tegra 2 platform is is pretty powerful for browsing. So, of course, the other thing to mention is that the uh, netbook is a highly multitasking uh, operating system. It's Windows uh, XP running on this. The Android system on the left is multitasking, but there's really not a lot uh, running in comparison. You've probably got 30, 40 tasks running here. I've got Bluetooth running. I've got some some other stuff, bits and pieces. Let's just have a quick look at the processes that are running on this. Um, 47 processes running on this and it has a guess at saying there's probably only about um, well <laughs> to be honest if you were to log in and uh, have a look at the processes running you'd probably see a similar number in, in Linux to be honest but uh, I think it's fair to say that there is more, the more sort of application level stuff running on the XP system than the Android system but does that matter when you're browsing probably not um, I think all we can say is that it's only going to take one more generation of um, the ARM platforms uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz is probably going to take it up to the performance of of a netbook and then we'll have parity of course the netbooks could leap ahead again in the next version um, Cedar Trail is the next platform to come out for the netbook so we'll see this is Chippy, carrypad.com with the AC100 Smartbook and the Toshiba TouchNote Netbook. Thanks for watching.